This is the Celsus AN3012DAB glass mount antenna. It's a DAB digital radio windscreen antenna that's suitable for cars and vans. The antenna is active, coming with a built-in amplifier to boost the DAB signal. Glass mount antennas like these are normally easier to install as they don't require any changes on the outside of the vehicle. Cables also don't need to be run over the length of the car, just from the windscreen to the DAB car stereo or adapter. In this review we'll install the antenna with a Sony DAB car stereo in a Mercedes C-Class. We'll see how easy it is to fit and how well it performs with reception of local and national DAB stations. The aerial comes as a complete unit with the antenna, signal booster, copper strip and cable supplied as a single piece. It's good to see an installation guide included too, something that not every windscreen antenna comes with. The installation guide covers the process of fitting the antenna. These instructions recommend following some pre-installation steps which help to find the best position for the antenna on the windscreen. The installation guide says to position the top of the antenna 5cm below the UV protection layer at the top of the windscreen. I'm doing this with the help of some paper and masking tape. The instructions also recommend marking the position for the antenna and using an alcohol wipe before fixing to the windscreen. Then the backing on the antenna can be peeled off and the antenna mounted to the glass and A pillar. The cable is easily long enough to connect to the radio and the SMB connector means it can plug straight into the back of this Sony stereo. A good installation is very important for the optimal performance of antennas like these. The installation guide is very good, making the antenna itself easy to install. The diagrams and written instructions are helpful and well thought out. Now that the antenna is connected to the radio, I'm just going to check that phantom power or antenna power is enabled. You can normally do this through the menu on your radio. We're going to general here, find antenna power, and it says there it is switched on. If it wasn't switched on on your radio, you should have an option to switch it on and then save those settings. On the driveway, the radio found all of the available stations in this area. A postcode coverage checker predicts good reception of local DAB and fair reception of some national services, but all of the UK's national services and even some extra local stations were found. We tested the antenna on a mix of local and rural roads as well as the A1M. On local roads, the reception of local stations was very reliable, with no loss of reception at all. Reception of national services was also okay, with no noticeable loss of signal. When driving through an area with poor DAB coverage, the antenna performed well. In parts of an A road where car radios often lose stations for several seconds at a time, the sound dropped out only very briefly. On a portion of road with no predicted coverage at all for some national DAB stations, the reception was actually fairly good. On the A1M in this area, we would expect good reception of all national DAB stations. The antenna performed accordingly, with no breakup of those stations at all. Overall, the antenna reliably received all of the stations that should be available, according to a digital radio coverage checker. The Celsus AN3012DAB glass mount antenna performs well, is easy to install, and doesn't take up much space on the windscreen. Using 12 volt phantom power from the DAB car stereo and the common SMB connector is also beneficial. This avoids needing a separate power lead and converting the type of connector. To see more about the antenna and to buy directly from the Celsus website, please see the links in the description below.